Hey everybody, this is Brandon Villarolo here for Tech Republic, and today I'm going to show you how to add this app, Snap Camera, to Microsoft Teams to spice up your meetings a bit. Uh, I already have Snap Camera launched uh, and rolling right here, uh, only because trying to open it up with QuickTime recording my screen was really causing a lot of lag, so hopefully this works a little more cleanly. So your first step is going to be to go to Snap Camera's website to download the app, uh, which I've included a link to in the article with this video. Uh, it's available for both Mac OS and Windows, and once you've downloaded and installed it, run the app and you'll see this screen right here. Basically a preview of the camera, along with uh, a place where you can search for new filters and things to spice up your video. So once you've launched Snap Camera, it's installed, then you can go about adding it to Microsoft Teams. So uh, you don't have to have can Snap Camera open before adding it to Teams, although I do advise you do that because sometimes it, um, Teams won't pick up the fact that you have Snap Camera installed unless it's running the first time you launch Teams with Snap Camera installed. So I'm going to launch Teams here. Okay, so Teams is open here in the background. I'm going to click over there. And what you're going to look for is the menu over on the right hand side that has your little icon, your avatar on it. Once that's open, you'll see here Settings. Just click on Settings there. And what you're looking for is Devices right over here. And you'll see down here, by default, it's got the FaceTime camera enabled uh, for, for Teams. But you can click this drop-down and you'll see Snap Camera and any external uh, webcams you have plugged in. So select slap Snap Camera, and it'll go blank for a second and then pop back in, and there you go. Snap Camera is now your default camera. So this is how your video is going to look to people in a meeting. Uh, you need to have Snap Camera running for this to work properly. And any changes you want to make, like turning a filter on or what have you, you have to actually do in Snap Camera and then tab back over to Microsoft Teams to... Uh, to see it. So, pop back over here. I'm going to go look at some of my favorite uh, filters here. Let's go with Potato. That's always a classic. There we go. And if you click back over to Teams, you'll see here in the preview that I am a floating potato, which you can hopefully get away with at your meetings. All right, for Tech Republic, I'm Brandon Villarolo. Thanks for watching, and be sure to stay tuned for more tips and tricks just like this one.